Welcome to today's video at the Giga Nevada Semi-Factory construction site. It's Friday, July 26, 2024, and the theme for today's video is a symphony of construction. You'll see that there's a lot of different activity focusing mostly on digging footings and uh, continuing to pour cement into the footings and I say cement jokingly because a lot of my viewers lose it when I use the term cement instead of concrete because technically cement is one of the ingredients in making concrete but I think for the layperson you guys know what I mean you guys and maybe the one gal who watches these videos know what I mean in any event concrete Trucks are, are from the nearby CMEX, CMEX batch plant are continuing to deliver to the construction site, which is approximately four miles away. Each mixer of trucks carries eight to 10 yards of concrete. A full load can weigh up to 40,000 pounds, and there have been a steady stream of these. The capital expenditure for just this one item must be significant. So once they arrive, the concrete, concrete is poured by reversing the direction of the drum and the concrete comes out the chute. Uh, while, the tr while the concrete's being, is en route to the construction site, the drum s spins one way to keep it from hardening. And then once, it's re once they're ready to pour it, they can reverse the direction and the, and the fins inside the drum um, cause the uh, concrete to exit. I'm really impressed by the precision work that this um, excavator is able to do in digging these footings and uh, it's uh, it's kind of fun to watch there's a lot of footings dug they have been working from north to south and then from east to west and the progression of the perimeter grade on the northern border from east to west is is progressing pretty significantly in addition the north to south western perimeter has been not only dug but i believe all of the uh, concrete has been poured and uh, there are other shots where you can see a little better from a different angle which footings have been filled with concrete but this has been a, just a constant activity and uh, today's friday and i fully expect them to be working all day on saturday and I'm not 100% sure about Sunday, but I wouldn't be surprised. I might take a drive over there and find out for all of us. One thing you'll notice in the background here is a giant solar field right there. And that solar field is immense and it feeds the um, supplies solar power to the Apple server farm. 
And I've always mentioned that I would like to see Tesla beat the size of that solar farm. We, Tesla cannot let Apple one-up it when it comes to renewable energy. This is the angle where I mentioned you can see a little bit more clearly where the uh, concrete's been poured. And, um, and then there you can see from the bottom right to the uh, top right of the screen is the western edge of the building. And from the bottom right over to the left, we'll, we'll travel in that direction and you'll see how far that perimeter grade has um, been been dug and it's safe to say that this is a huge building we know that it's going to be for semi high volume production up to 50,000 a year by 2026 hopefully by the end of 2026 in terms of the run rate and um, also for the CATL battery uh, line that they bought from CATL but but that Tesla will run themselves and I expect that those batteries will feed the uh, Tesla semi it would make it would be very odd to have those batteries go anywhere else except for right next door into the Tesla semis we're looking at all of the um, columns beams and roof trusses that were delivered and uh, here's the theme of the of the whole day, a, a concrete truck driving from the CMEX plant to the um, to the new entrance to the uh, semi factory. You see that it, he pulls in, and then he gets cleared, and then he proceeds to make his delivery. The one thing we're waiting for, and that I'm waiting for, that I think will be a, a significant watershed event, was the arrival of the cranes. And when that happens, you'll know it as soon as I know it. This whole area right there has been cleared, and I'm wondering if it's maybe for employee parking. That was basically a mountain, that whole edge where you see at the top middle of the, of the um, sh screen, that whole cutout, circular half circle cutout was a mountain. And I believe they, they, they certainly dug it for a good reason. And it would make sense that maybe that's for employee parking and for Optimus parking. Here's a nice high overall view with one of the warehouse on wheels in the middle of the shot right now and the Giga Factory Nevada uh, existing facility that's been there for about eight years in the top left. And for those of you who've been following along, you know that this whole area where the semi factory is being built was a warehouse on wheels, which is a parking lot for a lot of semis, trailers, not semis, but trailers where the um, subcontractor or uh, parts are, um, are stored until they're needed inside the factory. Thanks for joining, and we'll have more to come. By the way, at the very end, you'll see th this is how close the prototype f semi factory is to the new factory. Not that building, but the one behind it. The far right is 550 Milan. And that is the um, Tesla prototype building. And I saw 20 sem semis over there today.